that I could teach people to play pool, I need to demonstrate the shots. So the nice people at Sam provided me with this brand new pool table. And I have to say, it plays remarkably well. There's quite a lot of technology in this table. I don't understand it all, so I've got Liam Barrett here from Sam, who's going to explain how the uh, table's special. So what makes this table special? Really? Okay, Steve, well, one of the big differences about a Sam table is the top frame. Mm -hmm. uh, these rails are aluminum extrusions. Most tables are made from wooden or composition uh, uh, materials. The beauty with aluminium is it can be engineered with far greater precision. Mm -hmm. That means it can be cut and mitered into the corners uh, to fit very snugly. Then all the components are screwed, bolted, metal to metal. This reduces the wear and the movement, so you're going to get a much more consistent play field. Uh, even down to the pockets, the pocket liners here uh, don't have traditional pins in them. They are screwed with hidden screws uh, to reduce any chance of bounce oh, right. out yeah. uh, or any damage to the ball. Uh, and they're even moulded out of a tough plastic that angles the ball directly into the pocket. Oh, okay. So they don't fly, because quite often you hit a ball hard into a pocket and it catches the thing on no. the way in or whatever, so ball it can't happen with these. Ball will go directly down the pocket every time. So yeah. all, all this surround here, this bit, that's got metal inside? And that is aluminium covered in a full mica fascia for decoration. Right. So even when that's then clamped to the cabinet, uh, the clamps that do so uh, engage with the top frame itself and not with a plate that's been riveted on or screwed on afterwards. Uh, again, reducing any chance of movement. Um, just to give you an example, this is a cutaway of the section. So you can see it's very light, but it's also very strong. Mm -hmm. Now, the beauty of that is that it can engage directly with the cushions. Okay. Very easy to take off as well from a point of view of reclothing. But that section fits very snugly into the aluminium profile. Yeah. And then is secured by the metal plate. Right. Now, the beauty of that from a playing point of view is that it's clamped underneath rather than bolted through at different points. Right. That means that when the ball strikes the cushion, it will always have the same response. On traditional oh, tables, they are usually bolted in three different positions. Mm -hmm. That means you can have a different uh, torque on the bolt, and therefore you will get a different response off the cushion if the ball strikes it there to there. To there to there. Yeah. So you'll always be guaranteed an accurate ball response. I've seen that when I'm like when you, if you hit a, a cushion that's loose, you can hear it rattle sometimes. That's so that right. can't happen with you. Rock solid, and the same response all the way along. And you cannot over tighten it mm -hmm. uh, and pull it too tight in different sections. Um, oh right. So it wouldn't be. There's no way of damaging it if the no. cushions were fitted wrong. Or no, that's it. right. It's it will also always be at the right height. Okay. Often you will have a, a variation depending on how it was bolted on um, the cushion height and it does away with the need for a decorative strip along here. Oh, um, was that a requirement then in most tables? Then? Mostly they're, they're put on to take up any slack or any difference in the way the cushion's been bolted That's on. That's the thing that you catch a cue on when you try and bridge up the side of the table. Yeah. So. so you've got a nice smooth cue in action across the top frame. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the principle of it is very much uh, like what you'll find on a snooker table. Now, mm -hmm. the best snooker tables will be what's called a steel block. Yes. Basically, the steel is behind the wood, uh, so that the impact of the ball, instead of being diffused through the top frame, is returned directly out. This acts in the same fashion. Right. Brilliant. I noticed when they, they brought the table in that the, the frame as well is bolted through the slate, which I've never seen before on a tournament, tournament table. Tournament tables, uh, these are bolted through, so that what you end up with is a playing field that is one contiguous part. Yeah. So the cushions, the slate, the cloth, uh, is one unit that is then levelled. There's no gap on the cushions, there's no possibility that they're going to be at the wrong height, so again the ball would engage here and bouncing back the same way as it will over there. It means that when you're levelling, you're levelling the entire surface and not just one section of it. Right. And it's, quite, it's got special things on the feet as well, isn't it? Levelling is very, very simple, yeah. but uh, unlike traditional tables, you simply need a spanner. You do not need to move the table to raise it, to use a jack or a trolley. All you do is put the 13mm onto the thread on the foot and twist it, much as you would on a domestic fridge or a cooker or a freezer. Right. It means you can be much more accurate with your level as well because you're not constantly lifting it and then putting it back down again. Yeah, exactly. It's all about the accuracy. Yeah, and a level plane surface is just... Uh, that's exactly what the player needs. Yeah, that's it. It's a real basic requirement of the game. So is there anything else we need to do? Well, when, when you play on a, a commercial table in a commercial environment, sometimes there will be a hinge top to that. But again, these are clamped in a far greater number of places. Mm -hmm. That also means that there's less movement as the top is lifted and lowered when you're yeah. reclothing or you're valeting the table. And again, because it's all metal to metal bolted, they can be tightened repeatedly uh, and they don't wear over time. Right. So it will keep its uh, consistency over the age of the table as well.
It's a fantastic table. As I say, it's probably one of the best tables that I've played on. Um, so if you do get the opportunity to play on one of these tables, grab it with both hands. And if uh, someone you play regularly needs a new pool table, get them to check out the same table because it really is a spectacular table to play on.